This is a demonstration of using PuTTY SFTP to be able to transfer files between the NICs, Flux, or other clusters on campus that use a two-factor authentication service. The advantage of using the dedicated transfer host on the Flux cluster is that it has a larger network connection, it is dedicated only to file transfers, and does not allow normal users to log in. This avoids problems of machines being sporadically crashed because of uh, bad code and user testing, etc. But uh, it uses two-factor authentication. This requires the use of an M token. You can get an M token at the accounts office, uh, basically anywhere where you can get an M card made. There's one North Campus, Central Campus, and there's several others. In this case, I'm on a ITS lab machine. Uh, you can use the PuTTY SFTP program, which is under Internet and Email, and PuTTY. And PuTTY SFTP. This is a very basic program, so it's a all um, straight up open. The host to connect to is flux exfer.engine.umich.edu. It's going to ask me for my username, which is my cluster username. Then it's going to ask me for my cluster password. And it's going to ask for your M token. This is the number off of that keychain. Now it's going to log you in. So there's help, uh, but it follows a lot of the same Unix commands. So ls is going to show me the files that I have on the cluster. Uh, PWD is going to show me what directory I'm in. CD is going to change the directory that I'm looking in. So if I want to switch to my no backup directory, I do CD no backup, Brock P. And now if I do LS, it'll be my files inside my no backup space. To be able to pick which directory on the machine I'm on to send to, uh, I use LCD for local. Uh, in this case, I want to switch to the M drive, which is my directory on uh, the Windows machine. There's also an LPWD, etc. So to actually grab a file from the cluster, say I want to download this yysy.eps, I would do git yvsy.eps, and it downloaded the file to the machine. The inverse of this is put, which would take a file from the current directory you're on on the machine, which would be the output of LPWD, you take a file from my M drive and put it into my no backup space on the cluster. When you're all done, just run close.